Do you remember the incredible tale of the 50-year-old white woman who married and had twins with a black man? Well, here's what happened next. We're sure you're going to be absolutely amazed. Before we discover how the twins turned out, let's first recap the story of Amanda Wanklin and Michael Biggs and find out how and why they became such sensations. Before meeting each other, Amanda and Michael both lived in Birmingham in the UK. They were around the same age and had mutual friends that they liked to hang around with when not in school. They had even socialized in the same kind of circles without actually bumping into one another, which is nothing short of a minor miracle itself. Eventually though, they did actually meet and it seemed like Amanda and Michael had sparks from the very first moment they spoke. There was definitely a mutual attraction between the two of them and they were drawn to each other in a strange and unusual way that neither of them had felt before. They exchanged numbers and made arrangements to meet back up again, this time away from the rest of their friends. If they wanted to get to know each other better, it was less awkward if they were surrounded by all of their friends. And so, several days later, Amanda and Michael met up and went on a date. They caught a scary movie together, went and got some food and took a long walk through the park just talking and getting to know each other. It was all very sweet and innocent, considering both of them were still only teens, both full of raging hormones and desires. It was the perfect start to a relationship. This courtship continued for many long weeks, and eventually, the pair became an item. While most people didn't even bat an eyelid at the coupling, with many friends happy that their pals had finally found happiness in each other, there were still those with a less enlightened view on the situation. It wasn't too common to see interracial couples, so to see a white girl and a black boy dating instantly rubbed a certain kind of people up the wrong way. Not that Amanda or Michael cared. All that mattered to them was that they made each other happy. Years passed and Amanda and Michael had actually got engaged and eventually married. Again, this didn't go over too well with some people, but Amanda and Michael didn't care. They were in love and they were happy. Their families were both happy for them, so what did it matter what some racist people thought? It's true what they say. Nothing should stand in the way of true love. And that's a mantra that Amanda and Michael have constantly reminded themselves of ever since they first started dating. So they were married, they had a home, they had careers. So what next for Michael and Amanda? Well, the next logical step was for them to have a child. Strangely enough though, neither of them had wanted children at first. It was something that they had discussed at length before and they were both happy with their decision to remain childless. Having children isn't for everyone and they were content with not having to raise a child. But as more years rolled by, they started to get urges. At first, they kept their urges to themselves, worried that the other would not want a child. But when they eventually aired the deepest thoughts, both Amanda and Michael were shocked to find that their positions had now changed. They had grown and matured and now wanted to be able to bring a child into the world, to raise them in a happy and loving family and home. So they started trying to conceive, which is something that is far easier said than done. For some people, having a child comes naturally and quickly, but for others, it wasn't a walk in the park and it takes a lot of trying. At first, they had very little success. Months and months passed with no results and at some point they thought that there might be something wrong with them. They went to the doctors to be checked out and that they were completely fine. He suggested that they took the pressure off of themselves and stopped actively trying to conceive. It would happen when it happened. This didn't seem like the best or most helpful advice ever, but Amanda and Michael figured that the doctors knew best. So they might as well listen to them. So they stopped trying so hard and miraculously within a few weeks, Amanda was finally pregnant. It really was amazing how trying so hard would have a such a detrimental effect. Still, they were pregnant now and the excitement could really ramp up. Michael and Amanda started making preparations for the arrival of their baby. Buying cradles, diapers, bedding, blankets, clothes and everything and anything a newborn baby would need. Eventually, the time came where Amanda had to go for her scan, so the doctors could check out the progress of the babies and make sure everything was okay. So they headed to the hospital together, excited for the first glimpse of their child. The doctor started scanning Amanda's belly and looked shocked and surprised at what he saw. 
It seems that babies were like buses for Amanda and Michael. You wait for ages for one, and then two come along at the same time. That's right, they were having twins. The doctor completed the scan and reassured the parents that things were going swimmingly and that the babies looked healthy and were developing exactly as he would hope to see. He was even able to reveal the gender of the twins. Two girls. Michael and Amanda had never been more excited, and they immediately started making preparations for the arrival of the second baby. They had already purchased plenty of things for one single baby, but now they had to double up on most things. They do say that double the babies equals double the trouble, but they saw it another way. Double the babies, double the fun. Not only that, but they couldn't wait to meet the fine new additions to their family. The day finally came where Amanda went into labor and started giving birth to their two little girls. Both she and Michael were excited, though they would have been lying if they said they weren't also terrified. Luckily, the birthing process was very quick and before too long, they were holding two beautiful little girls that they named Millie and Marcia. Their skin was a lovely mocha color, the perfect blend between Amanda's white skin and Michael's dark skin. They were beyond gorgeous, and everyone was over the moon for these two new parents. But that's not where Amanda and Michael's story ends. You see, the children eventually started to grow up, and as they did so, the most amazing and unusual thing imaginable happened. Keep watching to find out how things have changed for the two little girls. It's certain to blow your mind and leave you shocked. You see, incredibly, Millie and Marcia now looked nothing like one another. Over the first seven or eight years of their lives, their skin tones have diverged. Where they had once both shared the same dark-colored skin, one of the children was now a lot paler, while the other was a lot darker. This separation of looks and skin color had caused the once indistinguishable and identical twins to now look like they weren't even siblings. This incredible twist blew the minds of all who met them and heard their story. Most people thought that they were just friends and were shocked to discover that the children were in fact related. It wasn't just Millie and Marcia's family and friends that they were shocked by how different the twins ended up looking. Even doctors were baffled by the change and called the occurrence a one-in-a-million event. It was caused by something called atavism. This is a genetic trait where a gene that has remained dormant for a long time finally re-emerges. Something it causes birthmarks or a strange or unusual quirk in somebody. But in Millie and Marcia's case, it caused one of them to be a lot paler than the other. Still, this didn't change how much Millie and Marcia loved each other. Not how much Amanda and Michael loved their children. It just made them unique and even more beautiful in their eyes. And it didn't escape anyone's attention that while the children had one black parent and one white parent, the parents now had one black child and one white child. Nature truly is amazing how it balances things out perfectly. So now it's over to you. What did you think of this incredible and mind-blowing story? Have you ever heard of two twins looking so dissimilar? As always, we love to hear from you, so be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below.